Welcome back. Here we are once again, enjoying our favorite board game. Let's first, though, take a look at the quiz questions that have come up since the last time we have used this app. So, yeah, periodically these quizzes just show up. I don't know how or why, but they're fun, so let's do them. Also, these tend to be from positions from my game. So, yeah. Well, I didn't recognize, or maybe I forgot that it would take so long to load. All right, so here, this is a position from a recent game of mine. And the question is, do we play 5-5 five, five Bishop, or do we play 5-5 five, five Pawn? Now, I happen to know, last time we analyzed this game, an engine recommended a move after the game concluded, because after the game I did decide to look it over. I don't recall whether I made a video of that, but we definitely did that. And yeah, blocking my bishop was terrifically dumb here. It makes much more sense to activate the bishop through 5-5, five five, even though this adds a second blocker in front of my rook. Um, longer term, eventually my rook will become active, but I cannot afford to trap my bishop here. Yeah! Alright. So, yeah, here's an engine analysis explaining what you might expect to occur after this move. For example, pawn from 4-3 to 4-4, four, four. bishop takes 4-4, four, four. lance 1-2, one, 1-1 one, one, bishop promote, etc. Uh, note that this rook cannot protect a silver if the silver advances to 2-2. Two, two. Note that nothing can pro like interpose between the gold or the lance and the bishop because there is no gold or silver lifted to protect the square so yeah they're in trouble if i activate my bishop this is just a really unusual clump of pieces that happens to perfectly block the rank actually this is the silver that's the rook um so yeah i wasn't expecting this to be available uh if we switch this to the move that was actually played in the game we see we expect 6-3 silver, which I think is what they did. And then 3-8 silver here. And we just build a castle with our king. Or we move our king to 4-8 and then play pawn 5-4. And, you know, it's okay. It's nothing to gloat about. But here I am worse by 661. Whereas in this other line, I am better by 251. Um, yeah, let's see. Do we have a next puzzle? I think we do. How do I get there? All right. Puzzle number two. Again, from one of my games here, I've been in a difficult position for a number of moves already. The question is, do we drop this bishop in hand onto the 8-2 square? Or do we move a silver from 6-6 six, six to 5-5? Five, five, thereby avoiding the loss of a silver general. Um, yeah, this surprised me, actually, even after I ran it through with an engine after the game, that uh, apparently my bishop drop is not decisive at all. Apparently their horse, while scary, and with a rook in hand, they just don't have enough to immediately destroy me here. So it actually is valuable to preserve the silver for one more turn. Even though, like, yeah, they can attack the silver again, they can attack my lance, they could drop a rook. Um, oh, we can actually play out the variation, can't we? So the expected move here, <laughs> engine recommended move, is to interpose along this rook takes knight line. Otherwise, I take the knight, and I'm threatening to take the gold, and then I'm threatening to take the lance, and, you know. Uh, so they block this line, and then you just move up the silver once more. And even though the rook's trapped and the silver is trapped, like, it's, this king is also kind of feeling the heat here. Um, I mean, that's a defensive idea. I don't understand what's so menacing about my position. I guess... No, yeah, well, maybe. Yeah, this bishop 6 1 drop looks very strong. So, yeah, they have to defend. Um, and then after this defense, 
this would give them the opportunity that if I bishop drop here, the king could run away. Uh, so yeah, we just take a knight and proceed normally. Yeah, the king tries to run away from my fierce attack, and my silver is well placed. So yeah, these are the two puzzles that Shogi Wars decided to present to me, reminding us of how we played last time. But should we play some new games? I assume that's why we're here today. Yeah, why not, right? All right. Uh, yeah, my chat window is present. Titles displaying correctly. Yeah, let's give it a go. Um, I think normally on this site we do play 10-minute games, so let's do the normal thing. Another 10-minute game or two or three here. And yeah, this will be good fun. Um, so yeah, normal 10-minute game start. Overlay looks fine. So we seem to be forever doomed to be 1Q until we study more. And studying is hard work, so uh, we eventually need to make time for it, but maybe there are other priorities first. I am still working on code contributions to Lee Shogi, and it's a fun development experience, but it'd be nice to see him accepted sometime. Good luck. Ooh, we go first. Third file rook is good fun. <laughs> All right. I want to try it this way today. Normally, I would oppose the central foul pawn with the central foul pawn advance of my own. Okay, buddy. Pal. What are we doing here? <laughs> I don't play static rook. But you've kind of goaded me into it. Um. Oh shit, I've trapped my pawn. <laughs> well, they're not paying attention anyway. Uh. That's not like I was doing any better. Alright. Still, I don't play static rook, but somehow I feel compelled to do this. Where's my king gonna castle? Who knows? Who cares? <laughs> Um, hmm, actually, yeah, let's just have some fun here, shall we? Boom! All right. Uh, somehow I thought, like, my rook would be able to force this open. It's not how shogi works. In chess, once you take pieces, they don't reappear on the board. Shogi's somehow different. Um... Well, okay. I've gotten myself in a really weird space here where I'm not sure what's going on. Um, hmm, let's get the king over this way just out of an abundance of caution. This might not be the right thing to do. Um... Hmm. Let's put the rook over this way now. Yeah, I have thoroughly confused myself. But I'm dodging a tactic with this silver hitting my rook and the bishop hitting the bishop. So now I just need to worry about, I don't know, normal stuff. Um, sure. Let's duck back here. We have built a castle. I'll check my audio volume too. It seems a bit loud today. It is a bit loud. Okay. Hopefully that corrects any echo there might have been. Sorry about my confusion. So yeah, they're attacking toward the center. Which seems like a reasonable policy. Um... Let's not leave the bishop hanging, and instead hang everything else? That can't be right. Um, hmm. I'm not sure what I've just done, but I don't like it. Um, let's push on this edge, because we're going to need another pawn in hand soon.
Let's also push this edge, just because that strengthens my lance. But yeah, I'm kind of fishing here. Um, Nanafumi. My pieces are all poorly misplaced. This is very bad. Okay, well... Mm, I'm not happy about this. I've done many things which don't make sense. Um, maybe this is the best I can do here. Let's try to fix my shape. Yeah, they protect against stuff. Um, let's try to break this open. Yeah, I'm afraid... Well, they're doing the same idea I'm doing, but um, maybe I land one tempo faster on account of being Senta. Maybe I enjoy some benefit there. All right, let's crack this case open. Yes, I could advance my knight, but why bother? When I have other nice pieces I can use. Uh, they have two pawns in hand. So this is my first idea. Let's activate the rook this way. And then second, I wanted to activate it over here. And then sack it for this bishop. Am I going to pansy out of this? Maybe. Very maybe. Um... Let's delay this a little bit. We can drop the pawn and redo the tactic later. All right, that's a sacrifice in more ways than one. That's a crazy, crazy sacrifice. Um, all right, wait, no, they've defended the silver. I completely missed that, but still. Um, that's so wild. Uh, what's going on here? If I take the silver, knight takes, I drop. They If they protect this, that yeah. I shouldn't worry about this gold. It's useless. It's the rest of this I should be worried about. Hmm. Okay. This sucks. <laughs> This is horrible. I might end up dropping a pawn in my first row unless I can think of something better. Um, I might drop one up here. If rook takes, I exchange rooks. I drop a bishop here and hit this pawn, but they just move the rook back. Oh, what a mess. What have I done? Um... So, if I do this fork, if I take that, like I'm hitting the knight, I'm inviting all kinds of trouble, though. Um, if I protect back here, they're just going to take my pawn. So, goodness, what do I do to stabilize this? I guess I take the vanguard point. This allows me to threaten... Oh. Good gravy. That was kind of obvious. I calculated this twice. A third time I did not calculate it. And here we are. Alright. Well, this is about as painful as it gets, but they say don't run from a fork, so we're just going to pretend there's no pain. And just attack with reckless abandon. And hopefully it's going to work out. Um, so, yeah, we've now we're now protecting our center point twice 
I was hoping they would do pawn takes pawn. They did not. So now I'm threatening pawn takes pawn myself. I've got two more pawns where this guy comes from. Plus, if I take out, I have a third pawn. But, yeah, this is not looking great. All right, they attack my rook. Am I going to sack the rook? Sure, let's sack it. Let's have some fun. All right. And this is where it'd be useful to have a solid castle before attacking. Instead, we have attacked, and now look where we are. Um, so, yeah, I have a fork to deal with. Best way I can figure to deal with it is this really sad move, but, I mean, what can I do? I don't feel like giving away that many pieces right now. Pawn takes pawn would have been better. Even though it allows them to take back the silver and then drop another pawn. Uh, yeah, so... Okay, they're gonna chase down my bishop. Um... Well, I have an opportunity to attack fiercely here. Um, hmm. Curious. All right, screw it. Let's attack. We've got all the time in the world. If we get a silver, we have a fork back here, so it's not a total loss. Um... But yeah, I guess my intent is... Well, as obvious as it looks, it's not even good. Yeah, that also is a reasonable looking move. Uh, they're going to promote on me. Hmm. So... Is there anything I can do to attack here? My bishop is in a really sad space. Uh, then they take my gold general and continue attacking, so, like, running doesn't solve anything. Um, well, let's attack. Let's pretend we've got this, even though we very much do not. There we go. So that's an attack. It basically amounts to nothing, but, you know, we feel a bit better for having fought, I guess. I guess I have another pawn drop here, but it's not going to work any better. Um, let's try it anyway. So, yeah, we're down way too many pieces. And sinking, we are sinking rapidly. But we have an attack. Not all hope is lost. And we do still remember how the pieces move. Um, so let's make use of what we know. Um, okay, that's an attack. And then we can continue hitting stuff. And maybe some miracle could happen if we are quite insistent. Um, it doesn't seem likely, but, okay, yeah, that's kind of obvious, um, it's not quite necessary to attack that way, right? Um, okay, yeah, you can attack stuff, I can attack stuff. Wow, really? So that's so. How much do you need this piece, I wonder? Was the silver worth it that much? Like, what are they going to do with the silver? Do they need it? Oh, okay, my king faces imminent peril, and yet I want to attack. Or because of that, I want to attack. Um, hmm. Alright, let's try to checkmate the king where it stands. 
thank you. Thank you, sir. Can I please have another? Um. Hmm. A knight works well for hopping over a piece. Uh. This looks kind of interesting. I'm playing quickly because I'm in time pressure. This might not be the right move. Maybe I'm supposed to like move the horse here or something. Um, but yeah, the king definitely does not belong in the center here. It can be attacked from the left and from the right in the center. Um... Sanjubyo. This sucks. This is the when I say that I mean the time pressure situation. Um kind of forcing my hand and making it very difficult for me to think before moving. That's what I'm referring to. I do happen to luck out and I found a mate, but uh, I think we were both moving under impulse of the clock here. It was a high pressure game. But thanks for the game. Yeah. Maybe I saw this all in advance. I was thinking I might need one more piece, so that's why I dropped a bishop instead of reusing the existing one. But it's possible I've missed something else altogether. But thanks for the game. Game number two, here we go. Good luck. Senta once more. Alright, our opponent has won two games in a row. Let's not get too psyched out by this and just try to play normally for once. Um, I hear that... oh goodness, really? I thought third foul versus central foul was a mismatch. Um, okay. I mean, I'm dropping a tempo to stop this from advancing. But also, now I can move up my bishop. Oh, okay then. I've lost a tempo for nothing. Hmm... All right, let's try to enjoy this. I think this is fine, but I've lost a tempo. Either that or we're proceeding somewhere truly strange, but... All right. I was intending to push this pawn and just hope things work out. I think that's still my intent here, right? There's nothing I can do to immediately harden this position against every sort of attacker. Um, hmm, but I'd be pushing another pawn that's losing another move. But this king is so open. Yeah, let's give this a shot. This looks exciting and terrifying. So my idea is to take this here silver and then exploit the fork. And we're off to the races because neither of us have castled. I've given this some consideration. I don't know how deeply they've thought about it. But it looks unpleasant, whatever this is. The other thing is I can drop a silver right here. Um, and try to collect this bishop. No, I take the rook they promote. I don't have a mate, right? 
This is such a wild position. I'm down a rook, so I need to recollect a piece or recollect something for my troubles. Um, hmm, if I let them take my knight, the bishop escapes. And it's a really good defensive piece. Um, the rook is a really nice attacking piece, however. Yeah, let's proceed here. I need to make use of my bishop. Oh, goodness. That I did not expect. We have drifted off into no man's land of... I don't even know what. Um, this is crazy. So... My thought was to do a rook drop back here. I think I'm still thinking that. Um... Because my attack does land very quickly. Our rook drop here instead? Forcing the king out? Or they would just defend. Yeah, they'd block with something, and that something becomes a target. They could block with a pawn here. Then I promote the rook hitting this gold, and they somehow defend. And I don't even know what that somehow is, but this looks interesting. Whereas if I dropped back here, they drop a pawn, then I move back, and then the gold blocks me, and it's really sad. Here, they can't cut my rook off. They can try, but... We've got a position on our hands. Um... Okay. So I'm threatening this gold that defends the base of their castle. Um... I could take a lance. That's not great. Um, or I could activate my bishop once more. Which seems reasonable here, I think. And prevents bishop... Oh, they can't take their own pawn. I was thinking bishop takes pawn hitting my bishop, but that's not possible. But yeah, using my lance effectively is not a bad idea. There just might be a better idea here. Um... But this defends my silver in case they take my knight. I don't need to do something else about this. They might do knight takes pawn just to further confuse things. In which case, I don't know if I can get away with king takes knight. Looks a bit iffy. But yeah, I moved my bishop where it was hitting this square only, and now it's hitting more squares near the king. Okay, they do take my knight, which I think is nuts, but sure. No, that's actually, actually crazy, because now I get a horse. I completely shut down their attack. Um, unless I'm missing something. But the way I read this, I think their horse is trapped, and they have something of a castle, so I don't have a mate. I don't really have a great way to attack. I need more pieces than just one silver to attack, so I'm going to use the silver drop to protect against a rook drop, but also to collect this horse. Granted, they're going to take my silver, I take back, then they drop the rook back here where my gold was. Then I can take a lance, and we're off to the races. Quite literally. It's a race to see like who can take the most pieces. Um, hopefully it's the winner is going to be me. But, you know. An alternative could have been bishop takes lance, 
and hope and pray that like this holds together against as they keep adding more pieces against my king. But I think this is a necessary defensive move. Oh wait, if they drop a rook, I can pawn drop to protect my bishop and cut the rook's scope. And then move to collect the rook next. But yeah, then they do knight takes, but then I take that. Yeah, so I'm fine. I've defended against a rook drop. They can't drop a pawn here on this file because they've already dropped one. They have pawns on every file, so in order to be able to drop more pawns, they would have to lose a pawn, which does not look possible here. Um, yeah. I don't know how this came about this way. This is quite the opening misadventure by both of us. Alright, so this is a fork. Um, that looks as reasonable a move as I can find for them. If I take, if they take my bishop, they're hitting my gold. Okay, point taken. Um... I guess they're threatening to take twice on this square. Okay. Yeah, I don't have a perfect defense to this, do I? This is what I missed, is this rook fork. Uh, still, if I take this lance... Hmm. They take my silver... I recapture, they do rook takes. I don't have a good defense. Hmm. If I take this gold and then use that to scare away the rook, they actually, yeah, it doesn't scare them at all. Um, this is disappointing. All right, let's make use of our bishop. And yeah, this is going to hurt a lot. I thought I had a perfect defense. I was skeptical, but I said it anyway. If I take the horse, it's exchanging two generals. It's OK. In Shogi, you are not forced to capture pieces, but they're attacking my gold general. Um, I could take their knight here. That doesn't help me. Yeah, I could use another bishop, so we'll take this. Um... No, 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 that's terrible. Don't do that. Do not do that. Let's block this. Yeah, let's keep the rook far from our king. Okay, that's crazy. Legitimately crazy. Um... I'm not sure which way to capture here is better. I'm not sure that a capture is best. Thumping. Let's do this. This looks fun. Have I missed something? How is this justified? You're not getting my silver, if that's your point. Um, I don't think it is your point. Yeah, they're after something which is not my silver. Um, yeah, let's run. It's fine. The castle's on fire. Who cares? <laughs> um... This looks like a fun place for a bishop. 
I think they're just going to counter drop with the bishop. That's not a bishop. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's take this. Well, I'm confused. I could use a third bishop, really. Hmm. Let's chase this work away. Chase is not going to be super effective at all, but mm, but we can pursue the king and then sack for this knight. Oh, wait a second. They could do dragon takes. The dragon's out of position. It's fine. Um, let's just, okay, that's a bishop sacrifice. Do I remember how the pieces move? A minute ago I was boasting about this, but now I'm not so sure. I'm like, hey, that's free, that's free, that's free. And meanwhile, look, I'm just leaving a trail of pieces behind. Hmm. But my king's safety is quite important, so, like, this might not be the worst series of moves I've ever done. Um, we have secured my king. Somehow. Um... Let's draw the king out. This looks interesting enough. I'm calling your bluff if your king wants to try to run into my camp. Calling it now. Yeah, I didn't think so. We could use that general. Mm. Let's try to attack. Uh, that's a problem, isn't it? Yeah, thanks for the game. Oh, wait, I can run a little bit. Oh, they have a second bishop. Wow. This is not great. When did they get that? When I gave it to them, right? Thanks for the game. Nicely played. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, let's play one more. And that's why we're one Q and not one Don. Yeah, I couldn't find a plan in time pressure. Good luck. Senta number three. All right. Now, I guess in fairness to myself, that other game, um, I'd not seen this third file versus central file super often. So 
I could be better prepared for it. Um, wait, am I supposed to move something else first here? I'm getting the sense that my move order is still very much off. Um, But, you know, sometime we'll get the hang of it. My mouse pad's sliding around. That's why, why my mouse is dancing. Or why my cursor is dancing. Uh, yeah, I'd like to push this pawn. Maybe I should have considered opposing rook here. I don't know. But yeah, I've protected against this pawn advance and rook exchange for bishop idea. So they could still push on this file might still need to move my king closer to it, but um, I think I'm equipped for this. Also, I'm not sure should I move the silver to the center here. Uh, a reclining silver idea. Would that be unreasonable here? I don't know. I think my top priority is to activate my rook and also to activate my bishop. So... If they don't play the rook up right now, we can open the rook file. Yeah, they do play the rook forward, and that makes the world more complicated. Um, so let's push on this edge. Oh, there. Yeah. It's going to take a while for my attack to hit, but if I'm pushing all these pawns... What else can I do? Um, I mean, this is my familiar castle shape, so let's build it. It's not ideal in this circumstance, but it's a good castle. Just maybe not against this particular formation. Half Mino, there we go. See, I want to exchange my bishop's pawn here. And maybe successfully land an attack at some point. Instead of just feigning it. Um, hmm. Push this because we might need the room to run eventually. Um, I think this is fine. I think next we lift the rook, um, or maybe we push the pawn. I'm not sure. I'd like to activate my rook, but it doesn't look easy to do here. I could also chase their rook, but it's going to hit this pawn, which I have no way to defend while my rook's still standing here. But if I move the rook, nothing's defending the bishop, and if I move the bishop, where's the bishop really going? It's a mess. Um... I think this is okay. And this commits me to uh, activating the bishop behind my center foul pawn, unless something else opens up first. Um, yeah, so they strike quickly. As they should, I prevent bishop 5-5 five five by taking the center, and we're just going to activate the bishop this way instead. And maybe somehow this will work. Knights are slow, there's no need to advance my knight, they could use a knight against me. Let's not use the knight just yet. But bishop, yeah. No reason not to use it. 
Especially because our opponent's not using their bishop, so... It'd be nice to have a silver to just drop right there. That'd be too nice. Um, good point. They also have a bishop. Um, hang on. Is that a good point? I'm not so sure. If I push this, they rook takes, rook takes, pawn takes. I don't have a bishop drop, but... You know, I'm one move faster, right? That's how this works. So next I can just push this, and what can they do? I push anyway. Okay. Well, we've got a pawn in hand now. Um, now, unfortunately, they do have this knight that can move up and be a problem, but um, maybe I've atta attacked prematurely, but I don't think so. Is that supposed to discourage me or encourage me? I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess I did kind of give them that. So I should drop back one more and not have done this, but now they don't have a pawn in hand. That's of some value to me. I lost a tempo, but they lost some flexibility. Okay, let's complete our castle <laughs> while they are trying to do something. Um, mm -hmm. Hmm. Hmm. This looks interesting. Yes, yeah, so right now their bishop is vulnerable. Although I'm not striking it right now, am I? Maybe I should be. Um... Right, if I move the knight up, the silver hits my knight, I take here. They take, I take, whatever. Um, yeah, actually, this is, this is a thematic idea. Let's just do it. I think I've been on the receiving end of such a knight uh, joust before. So, yeah, this looks kind of interesting, right? The king is directly in the line of my bishop. Um, yeah, if they do take back this way, this silver is pinned. I acknowledge that, sure, my rook is exposed. You know, my knight's hanging. Oh no, woe is me. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, let's let's proceed toward the king, shall we? Yeah, so if they move the silver back, I just take it. Um, if they attack my rook, you know, that's the price of doing business here. 
we, have, we take back, they take this rook, I take this gold, and then I next take the other gold. And then maybe drop like five pieces around their king. Um, that seems like an okay strategy. So, I don't know what they do. Like, I'd be looking to try to plug this diagonal or get the king the hell out of here. Um, but, yeah, moving the silver back would keep the diagonal blocked. And it would only cost them a silver for a knight. That might be the way to go. Uh, okay. This is kind of reasonable, too. Um... They don't lose their entire castle just to defend. Uh, if I take this, they take my knight. Maybe I should drop a pawn. No, definitely not. It's not worth it. Um, let's pursue the king anyway. So we've collected a silver. Um, let's clear away for my rook. Also, I guess I'm threatening to push this pawn. Maybe I should have pushed it instead of pawn takes pawn. No, wait. I needed to vacate the line for my bishop first. But yeah, the same general principle of exchanging a silver for a rook is fine. A rook for silver is it's okay. I might have better, though, like if I defend the pawn and can push it, but I don't think I can defend and push it in time. So... Yeah, well, if I push, if gold takes, I move the rook over. Eh, it's not inspiring. This looks like my most inspiring move here, I think. And if gold takes, I drop a silver here, and I'm striking two golds, or two gold generals. Seems fine, right? They might attack my bishop. Again, there's some price to doing business here. And boy, we are paying the iron price. But, you know, it's fun. Okay, they block my bishop. If I take this gold, um, the rook takes. I can drop the gold to hit the rook and then do bishop takes and hit the lance. Um, if I take this gold general, king takes, gold drop, king back, go doesn't for really me. go anywhere. Hmm. Interesting. I want to keep my bishop line open. Really, I want to keep my rook. I just need to be honest about that and then decide that I don't always get everything I want. Or when I do, it's not a good thing. Yeah, let's take this. And then just walk away from this silver. What's the silver doing? Oh, this knight is protecting this pawn, isn't it? I missed that little detail. Um, it's an important detail. At least I think it is. Okay, whatever. 
sure I like my rook, but I do like other pieces too. So yeah, I straight up... I mean, if they take my silver, they've gotten a rook for nothing. Other than having a severely exposed king. But, um, maybe it's worth it. My opinion would differ on that, but, you know, I'm not the one playing in their position. This bishop the whole time has just been idling here behind a pawn. Defending it, preventing my bishop from entering, but still idling. So let's keep attacking. I'm content to continue exchanging pieces as long as I can keep attacking their king. Oh gosh, I like rooks. They know my one weakness. I like rooks too much. How did they know? How did they know? Okay, but, you know, I can overcome my weaknesses with attention and effort. Um, also, I can be lured into this, because, like, this just looks fun. It's not like the silver is going anywhere. I can take it next turn. I mean, I considered a gold drop here and thought, you know, that's maybe a bit much. Um, sure. If you want your king on the same line as my lance, I'll allow it. Um... Not sure why you would do that, but... Okay, let's take a Silver General. And then next turn we can launch a Decisive Attack. Um... Hmm. Where's the mate? No, I can just uh, take like this. Hmm. I'm planning that a few turns here. Yeah. Thanks for the game. Oh, that was exciting. <laughs> Alright. So, some... Okay. Um, well, that's unfortunate. So let's clear back to the main menu. We seem to have lost the IP address of the Shogi server. But we had two wins and one loss today. And we got through two quiz questions. So, that was a good adventure. Uh, I will have to review at some point what happened with that loss. And it doesn't hurt to review your wins either. You can learn something from every game, regardless of the outcome. 
So I hope we enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. See you next time.